Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Russell. Morning, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Let us begin our day and our prayer this morning in the name of God, our Father, merciful and kind, the creator of the universe, the Father who stands with open arms waiting for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, his son, the only son that he sent, that this other son might be saved. Each of his other sons here on earth whom he made in his own image and likeness, might be reunited with him. The Lord of hosts. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who proceeds from that father and son to be our comforter, to live with us, our advocate, Father, we thank and praise you for your mercy in all the times we have led, been led astray, in all the times we have failed to come back to you. In the most difficult of our situations, when you have rescued us, But more importantly, in the very obvious situations that lie in front of us, the very basic things in life that you have given us, the air we breathe, the life that we have beating in us, our homes, our families, our jobs, the people that care about us, the safety that we experience, the peace. We want to thank you, Father. This opportunity to come and be with you is in itself a privilege. Not everyone has it. Not everyone is called. And yet here we are in front of you. You have given us that exclusive hearing to be in your presence. To talk to you, to hear from you. We thank you for this opportunity, Father. And as we pray this morning, we want to pray for this very attitude of gratitude to be filled in each one. Just as in Luke 17, when there were 10 lepers that approached you, Jesus, and you asked them to go and show themselves to the priest. Only one realized that he was healed and turned back. None of the others came. So also it is this day. So many of us going through so many challenges. And every time that problem is solved, we rejoice and keep going. Not turning back to give you that glory and gratitude that you are worthy of. Despite the fact that we know that it was you who healed. It was you who solved our problem. It was you who helped us through our destiny, help us with our finances. It was you who set our relationships right. It was you who blessed us with work. 
It was you who put food on the table for us. It was you who chose this spouse for us. It was you who brought peace in that argument. It is your presence that ensures that my home is safe. And it is you who helps me stand in all face of adversity, in the face of temptation, in the face of evil. It is you who convicts me in each of these situations. In every situation that I go through during this day, I want to thank you, Father. Let this be our prayer for each one of us. Not only on this prayer group, on this prayer meeting now, but every human that believes in you, Father. Help us to realize the source. And just like Paul taught us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Every time we pray, let us have this attitude of gratitude. And in having this attitude of gratitude, let us also stand up to testify about these very wonders that you have worked in our life. That along with that gratitude, your name might be glorified. But along with this gratitude, another going through a similar challenge might find the same courage to praise and thank God for the very situations in their lives. So that in accordance with Romans 8.28, those situations might turn around and work for their good through your grace, Lord. We pray for every such other person going through the toughest of their challenges this day. The ones that only see dark clouds ahead of them and no ray of hope. We offer this our prayer, Lord, as that ray of hope. We offer ourselves as that conduit. Carry their cries to you. Their cries of hopelessness. We raise up to you, Father. As we pray this morning in the language that you gave us, we also remember the prayers and intentions of our families, our neighbors, our friends, our work colleagues, in our community. that each one we speak to this day. We talk about that attitude of gratitude. Let us now pray in the language the Holy Spirit gave us for this change of heart, this renewal of mind. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, O Holy Spirit. We give you all praise and glory and honor, Father. Let our prayer consist of more of thanksgiving and lesser of petitions. Knowing that it is the will of our Father that we should prosper as he has promised in Jeremiah 29.11 for all those plans that you have for us Father we want to thank you this day For every single one of this lost sheep, every single time you have chosen to sacrifice your son, that this your lost sheep might be saved. We want to thank you, Father. As we were praying in tongues, the Lord gave me a vision in a scripture. The vision was of billions and billions of angels in heaven singing with us. As we prayed in tongues, the billions of angels, the sound was amazing and it's hard to explain the, the colour, the golden and the, such the brightness of the colour of all these angels singing glory to God. And the scripture he gave me was Luke 2, 10 to 13. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you the good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today in the city of David, a saviour has been born for you, who is Messiah and Lord. 
and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, While we were praying today, I could see the vision of the entire crucifixion of our Lord. I could see his mother looking at him with pain and agony from far. And I suddenly saw a treasure chest, a chest full of chains of gold that were there in it. And I could sense the Lord saying that like what Brother Russell spoke about, it was like a confirmation to what he said that you are so precious for me, to me that I gave my life for you. That treasure chest is, it, it was showing these chains that were flowing out of it and it had a lot of gold in it which it showed that something that's very precious and the crucifixion. This is what I was led on to. That each one of us is precious to him that he gave his life for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even as we were playing today, I seen a word, flower bulb, and then I seen a vision of a white rabbit behind a wooden door. Like the wooden door was not very tall, so I could see the rabbit beyond the wooden door. And after this, I seen a campfire. I was not sure what all this meant, but as I was asking the Lord, what could all this mean, flower bulb? I didn't understand that that word that just came and today first time I have uh, understood what's a flower bulb. I never knew that. But the vision of a white rabbit behind a wooden door, the Lord was saying there are many opportunities, but yet you are quite timid to open the door or rather you are frightened to open the door or take a risk. And the last vision which I seen of a campfire the Lord is saying that I will give you the courage and the strength to face the difficulty even in this most difficult moments. I will give you the courage and strength to face all the difficult moments. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you for that message. Um, that message was for me, uh, I, I think, because um, I've suffered from depression and anxiety for a very long time, for almost uh, three years. And because of this prayer group and praying, I have come out of it. But, um, and there's a, a fantastic opportunity that has come through a job and I'm very nervous to apply for it. So I think that message was for me, the Lord's telling me, don't be afraid, go out, because you lose confidence in yourself. And then God, the Lord's telling me, you know, go out boldly, I'm with you. I, I will be with you and strengthen you as you take on this journey. Thank you so much. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, that in every situation you work for the good of those who love you and whom you have called in accordance with your purpose. You bless each one with gifts, gifts that may be used to advance the purposes of your kingdom, to work for our good and the good of our neighbor. We thank you for those, Lord. We thank you for the favor that rests on us. Your favor, Father, but also the favor of men. Your favor that has come through a friend, through an unknown contact that has helped us emerge out of every challenge. In every situation, we acknowledge you, Lord. We surrender it to you. In all our ways, we acknowledge you. Knowing that it is you who direct our path. And so we trust in you, Lord, and don't lean on our own understanding. Yes, Lord. We trust in your guidance, Holy Spirit, to help us discern every opportunity that presents us, to see your will and your way in it, that we might pick up the opportunities that lead us onto your path and turn aside the ones that would move us away from you. We thank you, Father, that out of every difficulty, there is also a new lesson learned in life. Some of these are paid experiences, but some are free from you. The education and teaching that you have given us through our parents, through our schools, but also through friends and family. We thank you, Father. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Your presence with us. This day and every day. Yes, I wanted to testify uh, a thing that happened with me just two days back. Last week it happened on Friday uh, where my reporting boss humiliated me online on a team's meeting in front of all my team members. 
and uh, I was very upset, very hurt, and I did not know what to do about it because uh, I report to two bosses, and he was not sure what work I do with the other department, and he started humiliating me, saying that the other boss has said there is no work. And in such a way, it happened. Anyways, the meeting got over after that, which I spoke with my second reporting boss, and he mentioned that you speak to him personally and affirmatively, assertively about whatever is happening. And he cannot speak to you this way. You have to talk to him about it. And also that we can have a conference call about your work. The next day on Monday. Uh, I did speak to him personally. Uh, my reporting boss never agrees or never accepts anything. But after a conversation of half an hour, he accepted his mistake. And not only that, he um, he said that I will not speak to you in front of everybody. I will speak to you one on one henceforth. And he assured me about uh, the rest of the things. And he said, "Okay, fine. You send your uh, this all your work." Uh, what you're doing the next thing that i did i sent my work and everything but in the meantime my second reporting boss he also um, wrote a separate mail personally to him saying that he considers me um, working um, i mean is given me a strong worker as per the list of what we have in our appraisal and he also said that um, and he involved the hr also in that which you know, uh, my reporting current reporting boss cannot point out a finger at me. I really praise and thank God for He has done wonders in my life, which I did not know would be happening that particular night when I was in distress. I was crying on Friday night. After praying in the spirit with you all, I was feeling very light. On Monday itself, when I spoke to my boss, I was feeling very light. I knew the spirit was guiding me to speak. So I want to thank and praise the Lord for this group, which has helped me to grow, not only uh, to speak assertively, affirmatively, and also for guiding me in my vision. Because I've seen previously, I used to see blurred vision. But by God's grace today, he's opening up my eyes to see uh, proper vision. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Lord. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank Praise you. Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You love us so much, Jesus. You love us so much. You're always there with us. You guide us. You put wonderful people in our lives, the Lord, just to bring us closer to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has just put on my heart that he's actually anointing everyone here this morning with a very special grace. Thank grace you, Jesus. Grace of grace of boldness. Thank you. Amen. Grace Thank of you, discernment. Lord. Amen. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. The grace and peace of this very Lord fill us with that attitude of gratitude. For everything that we go through during this day, that in every thought we think, every word we speak, in every action we take is in alignment with His will. And we thank Him and praise Him. Praise Lord. Every situation. Lord, bless you, Lord. Be blessed, everyone. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. You are a blessing to everyone around you. Mm -hmm. In the name of
that same mighty Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,